He took his first steps as a scientist and researcher in the Department of Gastroenterology at the Poznan University of Medical Sciences. His first scientific interests were focused on the role of apoptosis as a crucial mechanism of action of anti-TNF antibodies in the therapy of inflammatory bowel diseases, cooperating with the Department of Histology at the same university. He is the author of Scientific Discoveries and Inventions, a fully-fledged member of the European Crohn's and Colitis Organization. Current therapeutic algorithms in Crohn's disease are focused on strict individualization of the therapy. In line with this approach, we performed one of the first studies in which we showed that magnetic resonance enterography can be also helpful in predicting long-term, one-year, steroid-free remission in patients with Crohn's disease treated with anti-TNF antibodies. And what about clinical practice? What impact does this research have on standard practice? The most interesting and clinically relevant finding of our study is that if we have a patient with any intestinal stenosis, even if the patient has no obstructive symptoms, even if it's of inflammatory origin, there is a high risk of secondary non-response to the therapy. Hours, weeks, and months of demanding work at the hospital and laboratory pass very quickly if you are working on something fulfilling. Science is a very important part of my life, but it's not everything, of course. I have my wonderful family, my friends, hobbies. Whenever I have time, I go jogging. I like to listen to different kinds of music, metal, rock, classical music. I adhere to a principle of three legs, on which every man should stand. Work, family and a hobby. And I think you can find long-term satisfaction only if you have all those three basic elements in your life. And victory in Dr. Barris's competition also seems to have contributed to Dr. Edder's happiness. I am very pleased with this award. Maybe also because I submitted it at the very last stage, so I didn't expect to win at all. So I'm very happy with it and I think this is great that something like this exists and it's very motivating for us, for young researchers, for young gastroenterologists.